there we are. We're uh, in the cab of the uh, Massey uh, 1085. It's got a high lift uh, Leon loader on it. And uh, anyways, uh, there's some trouble with the hydraulics valves. Uh, this is a valve bank right here. It's actually sitting in the console like that. And then I this is a 73, so I have the older style handle here with these S hooks. And uh, it goes up to that um, valve bank and then back to the back for uh, two sets of hydraulic remotes that run the uh, tilt and lift on the uh, easy on loader. <clears throat> so anyways, I, I was having trouble with them. I don't know why the camera's not focusing very well today. But anyways, the first of all, the balls were off the ends. So uh, I ended up just drilling out some golf balls and putting them on there. <laughs> Rather than trying to take the time to get the proper uh, rubber balls that I'm, sh I'm sure there's a uh, special Massey price on. So uh, anyways, there's uh, raised neutral and lower for the valves so there's the uh, valve body itself and then uh, I'd take that one hydraulic hose off right there and uh, those S hooks are right inside there and uh, what happens is they move the lever for the valve well you wouldn't believe how finicky they are. Uh, I ended up uh, putting new bolts in here, of course, <clears throat> but I ended up these are these are slotted underneath. So I ended up actually having to run this far forward as I could. And I ended up having to stick a little washer under each one of these two bolts here on the side. Because what's happened is over the years, there's just enough play in this lever that the mess hooks or whatever you want to call them um what they were working that way but when you come down here you'd be all the way there and uh and uh they wouldn't engage and it's supposed to engage there prior owner has cut this uh metal tab off because the valve will needs to come back to there, which is clicking now. But he was trying to drive them all the way down. So he cut this metal tab off, thinking that if he could drive it down further, it would uh, shift the spool inside the valve. But that wasn't the case at all. So, Anyways, I'm still uh, with my starter dilemma on this tractor. So um, hopefully I can solve that tomorrow morning sometime or... Uh, uh, I guess put the old one back in, get it fired up and moved. But um, um, regardless, I think the hydraulics are working now, listening to the valve, um, moving the levers. But I won't know for sure until I start the tractor tomorrow morning. So hopefully it all works out.